do I know or not? How orthodontic appliances work? This seems more of a philosophical question. And indeed it is. After all, there are different ways of understanding the action of orthodontic appliances. Basically, the appliances can be classified as being shape-driven or force-driven. As examples of appliances that are shape-driven, we can mention any straight wire technique, both the conventional and lingual ones, in which a series of wires is used with the target of achieving a final arch wire, whose shape would be ideal for the correction of the problem. Currently, many techniques seek to reach this final ideal form in a fast way and with as few bends as possible. On the other hand, there are some techniques that prioritize the knowledge of the forces needed to correct the problem, since the forces released by the appliances are more important than their shape. As an example, we refer to the segmented arch technique, which as the name implies, segments the dental arch into an active unit, represented by the teeth you want to move, and a reactive unit, represented by the anchor teeth you do not want to move. With the resources of this technique, you are able to define both the wanted and unwanted forces of your orthodontic mechanics. Other examples of appliances that are force-driven include the invisible aligners. Yes, their main target is the application of controlled forces to perform specific dental movements. That is, if there is no appropriate planning of the desired sequence of the movements, the treatment with the aligner will certainly not succeed. If we go deeper into the studies of the two types of systems, we will see that there is no absolute supremacy of one technique over another. Each of them has its advantages and disadvantages, indications and contraindications, its facilities and limitations. If we think this through, this division between the types of appliances has only a didactic purpose, to make the difference between action of the appliances more clear to us. That is, those who only take into consideration the shape of the arch may not be aware of the force systems in their technique. But the forces and moments of these systems are always working. The reality is that all appliances have exactly the same final action, namely applying force systems to move teeth. That is why the knowledge of orthodontic biomechanics is fundamental for the domain of any orthodontic technique, towards the success in our treatments. Biomechanics is the best guide to understand the different paths that lead us to this goal. This way, we also learn to predict and avoid approaches that move us away from it. And finally, we learn important shortcuts to accelerate and ease our journey, making it much more efficient and even enjoyable. If you want to learn or consolidate the fundamental concepts of orthodontic biomechanics, visit our blog. You can also subscribe to our YouTube channel, follow us on Facebook and keep updated of our blog's new posts.